So City of Lawrence Common Council, today is July 15th, 2020. It is now 6.31 p.m. and I have called the meeting to order. Can everyone please stand for Pledge of Allegiance and prayer? <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lord, for this uh, event and uh, guide us today as we make our decisions and uh, making this decision making process for uh, the city of Lawrence and offer protection to those affected by the, uh, the pandemic and uh, issues that are facing our communities today. Amen. Amen. Great. We have a quorum, all council members, with the exception of Councilor Chevalot and Councilor Russell are present. Next, we have comments of council members and special recognitions or resolutions. Do we have any? Yes, uh, Madam President, this is Councilor Deb Whitfield. I would like to take this opportunity to give an update and a recognition to um, the Lawrence Community Parks Foundation. They will be hosting on July 30th, 2020, from four to six. They're calling it Bellies Full Back for Back to School. And they have been working in our community uh, along, I think, with the trustee's office. And this is gonna be hosted and held at the Lawrence Community Park. And they're going to be acknowledging and giving out over a thousand packs of food through like a drive-by type situation. So I just want that to be noted uh, and thank them for their community service. Thank you. And I, I would like to encourage as many council uh, members that can um, attend to participate, uh, to volunteer for that event. Um, I think that would be uh, a great showing of support um, from our council. So um, if you have any specific questions, please contact Councillor Denning and he should be able to answer those questions for you. Thank you, Councillor Deb, um, Deb, could also, you repeat? I want to just encourage um, our constituents as well as our council members that if you have not already done so, please take the time to go out on um, the city Facebook page and take the park survey. Um, there is a survey out there, and it is a great opportunity. Um, there are several questions that um, I think will be beneficial as we look at improving our park system. Um, I don't know if anybody has additional information in terms of when that survey closes. I, I'm, if someone has that, um, during the course of this meeting, if you could share that, that would be great. I know that I did go out and take it, and it only takes about 10 minutes or so. Madam President, I think it closes on the 26th, but I could be wrong about that date, but Council, that's what I remember you're hearing. On you're on mute. Okay, what did you say? Uh, I believe the, uh, the the survey closes on the 26th, but I could be incorrect, but I'm just going by memory on that. Okay, so let's just try to uh, participate in that survey and, and get the get it done as soon as possible, and we appreciate everyone's participation. There will only be value if we have a, a good representation of folks that respond to the survey, so thank you. Any other council members? Uh, yes, Madam President, if I may give a big thank you to Mayor Collier and Mr. Jim Hennigan of the Lawrence Street Department for ordering the pedestrian street crossing sign for 56 and Bogey Drive. We are very excited to have that installed soon. So I want to give them a great big thank you. Our neighborhood's very excited. Great. Thank you. And Madam uh, President, I wanted to just give a kind of a, an update a little bit on what the county program 
uh, for Indy Rent has been providing to our our city over here. Um, yeah. So far, the the neighborhood organizations cafe, which is a little bit south of our city, but still serves our southern part, and the the trustees office along with the John Bonner Center have taken just numerous applications. Uh, for uh, those affected by COVID and uh, continue to provide um, utility assistance uh, to those affected by COVID. And by affected by COVID, we mean they either lost their job, uh, can't work because of childcare needs, or they're in the hospital um, and, and medically affected by COVID and not able to work. And uh, I've lost because of that. Uh, so this program that would add is it just started three days ago. Uh, there's no need to check your status yet because the approvals haven't rolled out. But if you've applied, if any of our residents have applied, they should start seeing those uh, status Great. updates Thank next week. Thank you so week. much for that. Any other council members? Okay. Um, the only thing I wanted to sort of throw out there um, is... Um, I'm going to reach out to um, the council members for feedback and the administration to see if um, we can get some Lawrence mask produced for for our city. Um, I know many of you have seen the Indy mask, and those are great. But I'd like to um, I'd like to see us do something on behalf of of our constituents. So I will be working um, with the administration to see if we can't pull something like that off as well, okay? Thank you. All right. Next on the agenda, we have signing of vouchers, approval of claims, and authorization of payment. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion, I'll second. Councilor Freeman, second, Councilor Rusamora. Any discussion? Is, is uh, Controller Fenwick on the line? No. Anybody from the administration on the line? No. Okay. Um, could anybody see the detail on who we were paying the $17,000 to for the consulting fee? Lisa, if you want to hold a minute, I can try to look it up. Hello? Yes. I think I lost you guys for a minute. Did I'm here. Anybody, I'm here. Did anybody no. see the detail? Did you say no? No. No, I did not see the detail. I can't recall it. Okay, I'll, I'll follow up with um, Controller Fenwick on that. Did any other council members have any question or discussion on the vouchers? Okay, we've got a motion in a second. Roll call vote. Councilor Freeman? Yes. Councilor Rissa Moroff? Yes. Councilor Giles? Yes. Councilor Wells? Yes. Councilor Denning? Councilor Denning? He's muted. Sorry. Hold on. Mute. Uh, yes. Councilor Whitfield? Yes. Councilor Chavis? Yes. Okay, motion passes as unanimous. Pay the vouchers. Next on the agenda is unfinished business. There is none. New business, consideration of council appointment to the Redevelopment Commission. So we're going to open it up for nominations. I would like to nominate Melissa Swindle. Okay. Any other nominations?
Hearing none, the nominations are now closed. We have um, Melissa Swindell. I will do a roll call vote. Councillor Freeman? Yes. Councillor Denny? Yes. Councillor Whitfield? Yes. Councillor Rusamoroff? Yes. Councillor Wells? Yes. Councillor Giles? Yes. Councillor Chavis? Yes. Okay. Congratulations, Ms. Melissa Swindell, on your appointment to the RDC. We are adjourned. Have a wonderful evening and peace. Right, Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye.